Uh, we heard from the Chinese yesterday. They, they did see some, was it some security issues with the iPhone? Yeah, so yeah. The, I, I would think it's fair to say China hasn't particularly added to the clarity yeah. around <laughs> what's going on with Apple iPhones. So let's just start there. Yeah, okay. I mean, they've said that there have been media reports around security issues with the iPhone. Okay. But they also said very clearly that there had been no new laws or no new regulations that restrict the use of iPhones or foreign devices in China. Mm -hmm. So we know or we've reported at least that government agencies selectively have instructed their staff to stop using Apple iPhones and to stop using other foreign devices. So that's sort of the backdrop of this. It appears so far that Beijing is reiterating its stance around security, that tech firms in China have to follow laws and regulations. They haven't really made it clearer whether or not the ban that we've seen in these select agencies is going to go further, or it's even, whether it's even going to be a first, sort of confirmed officially. Hmm. Um, and we're also getting some more on, on, from the EU side, just given a lot of Chinese automakers and EV makers are really kind of making their way into this market in Europe and they're trying to kind of price out some of these or ward off some of these cheap EVs. What, do you think it's going to work? Yeah, this is a really interesting one. So Ursula von der Leyen came out with some quite strong language saying that the Chinese market has been overrun with cheap Chinese cars um, and that China is effectively distorting the European market with these subsidies that have boosted firms like BYD and, and NIO, which have massively increased their uh, exports to Europe. Now, the probe probably will result in higher tariffs. Mm. And there is a bit of a precedent for this. So when you look at the US, for example, they have about 28% tariffs on EV, Chinese EVs going into the country. So it is likely we do see those tariffs increase. This probe is probably going to take somewhere between six to nine months, maybe even a year. So it's going to take quite a long time to roll out. But when we look at that Apple story and we look at this EV story, the backdrop is of this sort of rising competition between China and the US and Europe, right? That even though we've had all of this discussion that de-risking is going to be very limited, that tech sanctions around these strategic areas are going to be very contained yeah. and curbed, but then look at the broader landscape. We are seeing these issues around the use of these sort of, whether it's EVs, whether it's iPhones, this much broader range of technology that there's yeah. concern around.